Hi, you guys. Well, you know, for the longest time, the mall has been a place for teenagers to come and hang out with their friends on the weekend. But starting this weekend here at Connecticut Post Mall, there are going to be some new procedures in place for everyone under the age of 18. And some folks that we spoke with today say they think this is a really good thing with the amount of disturbances that have been happening here. But others say they think that this should be reconsidered. When you walk into the doors of the Connecticut Post Mall in Milford, you'll be greeted with a curfew sign for kids. Come Saturday, those under 18 shopping on Saturdays before 4 p.m. must leave or be joined by a parent or guardian 21 years or older at the curfew cutoff time. It's a good idea because this mall went downhill a lot with this new generation. Connecticut Post Mall released a statement saying, quote, we strive to provide a safe and enjoyable shopping experience for our guests and giving the recent increase in large group of unsupervised youth congregating within the center on Saturday evenings, activating the parental escort policy or PEP was the appropriate response to prevent further disturbance. A lot of the problems, all the fights that were breaking out here for a while, I even stopped coming here for food or anything because of all the fights. Like I felt unsafe even walking around here. The mall's policy says that if the age of a youth parent or legal guardian is in question, the person will be asked for their ID. Shanique Beckford says this could negatively impact working parents. And it's going to be a bit convenient for like working parents, especially parents that works after um, certain hours. Some parents work overnight, which, you know, it's going to be a problem. But she understands safety concerns. Yeah, safety. Yeah, definitely number one priority. Javonis Kiles says there's another solution to prevent further disturbances. It's at least add more security or something. There could be different measurements to, to go about the situation. But despite the reinstated policy, there might be a bigger problem at hand that needs to be addressed. I feel like even with the crimes, like if they can't get in, who's to say that they're not going to hang out outside and cause trouble? You know, it is, it's all in willpower. If a, if a person wants to do something, they're going to do it. If they don't want to do it, they're not going to do it. And another thing within that policy, it says the adult can accompany up to four children max and that the adult has to stay with the children at all times. For now in Milford, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station. All right, DeAndrea, thank you.